common universal hitch bar kit. We'll show you the parts inside and uh, quickly how they go together. Box knife, be careful, probably should wear safety glasses for this part. You've been warned. So we'll open up both boxes. And from the one box will come out the nut bar, the inch and a quarter hitch bar, set of bolts which include three M10s, one 5 8 inch hitch bolt, and one half inch hitch bolt, as well as one two inch outside diameter hitch bar with multiple bolt locations. This will work for an element rack, a dura rack, and the now discontinued Versa rack. That is the extent of the parts that come in the universal hitch bar kit. Here is the solid shank inch and a quarter hitch bar. The nut bar that goes inside of the two inch bar. as well as lock washers and bolts to connect the inch and a quarter hitch bar to the two inch bar, as well as the hitch bolts to attach both the two inch bar and the inch and a quarter hitch bar to your vehicle receiver hitch. Installing this piece into a two inch receiver hitch requires only one bolt. You'll use the 5 8 inch hitch bolt here with the corresponding large lock washer and this will be used to attach the two inch hitch bar inside of the inch and a quarter receiver hitch so in, or the two inch receiver hitch so in this case this inserts into the vehicle and the bolt comes on from the outside you will utilize the two bolts that are already on your bicycle rack to secure this hitch bar to the bicycle rack We'll set this aside. At this point, we're going to show you how to attach the inch and a quarter hitch bar to the two inch hitch bar. We'll flip this over, grab a large slot head screwdriver, insert that into the two inch hitch bar right on the inside edge of the nut holder, and we'll apply a little bit of force, a little leverage, and remove the hitch bar nut holder from the inside of the 2 inch hitch bar. This includes the 5 8 inch nuts that were inside making the threaded piece there. We'll set this aside at this point and move on to the inch and a quarter hitch bar. So we'll spin this back around and you'll notice that there are three holes on the bottom of the 2 inch hitch bar. They correspond with three threaded holes on the nut plate which will go inside of the 2 inch hitch bar and then three holes in the inch and a quarter hitch bar which correspond with three M10 bolts which are in your bolts kit. Make sure to put the lock washer uh, on each of these and the lock washer will uh, rest on the hitch bar side of the setup. Put each of these through. It's best to get this all lined up and hand tightened before you attempt to tighten one of the bolts down. You'll find that that's a lot easier. Sometimes flipping this up into this position and then putting two fingers inside of the uh, two inch hitch bolt is a good way to do it. I can see and look that I'm lined up. And then I'll take this piece, set it down right into the right spot. And you'll just need to kind of feel your way through getting that threaded. Uh, sometimes it's easier to do the center one and then pivot the whole pieces, but uh, in this case we've got a little bit easier thread in the outside position, so we're going to use that. You see when we pull up, these have threaded in, so now we just have to find the home on the center one. There we go, get these all down to hand tight. 
And then at that point, we'll grab an adjustable wrench or the correct socket size, tighten these down. Once the lock washers are flattened and everything is good and snug, then we'll be ready to install this hitch bar into the inch and a quarter receiver hitch, at which point we will secure the bicycle rack to the vehicle with this half inch hitch bolt, thread it in, and the lock will go on the outside of that hitch bolt. That is how you use the common universal hitch bar. To see more video content, visit softride.com slash video.